Carlo niece and nephew, it's Uncle Roger. Hello, dudes and dudettes, it's NPC. And as promised, I'm gonna make my egg fried rice today. I still have leftover rice and a bit of egg laying around in my fridge, so it's the perfect time to finally give Uncle Rice Fields recipe a shot. Step one, throw away your chili jam. All right, I'm better off throwing my chili chong away anyways. Oh my god! No, no, no! This is paring knife. This is not used for chopping. This list tried to trick me. <laughs> this is more like it. I agree, but I'm still more of a Japanese cleaver kind of guy. First step is garlic. For one portion of egg fried rice, at least five cloves. Four cloves of garlic. Uncle Roger, not the best garlic chopper. But don't worry, everything look cooler in slow motion. I am 100% certain that my chopping looks still goofy even in slow motion. Told ya. Now we chop shallot. Now we chop Richmond's onion. Uncle Roger like to use one full egg and one egg yolk. No idea what I've exactly got left in that bowl, so I just add another egg and hope for the best. Whisk the egg. No, not with whisk. Hi, uh, no Asian person use whisk. Asian people too poor to afford proper cooking utensils. Hi, yeah. Money you make from working on your uncle's rice farm not enough, is it? Next, we chop spring onion. Next, we chop spring onions. Last thing you need to chop is chili. I am drying some homegrown chilies at the moment and I still had some relatively fresh bullhorn chilies left that I can use. And of course for egg fire rice, you have to use leftover rice. This is leftover chicken rice. This is leftover plain white rice. Okay, now we start cooking. But we got one problem. Induction stove high. Asian kitchen still stuck in World War II, is it? Go with the times, old man. First coat the wok with oil. First coat the wok in canola oil. First thing in, garlic and shallot. First in, go garlic and shallots. Fry it a bit until it's fragrant. Frying it a bit until it's fragrant. Next step, egg. Next step, nutting into my wok. Stir it around when it's almost all solid, like this. Time for the rice. Uncle Roger never measure, because Asian people, when we cook, we don't measure, we just use feeling. White people, we don't measure, we just use deli cups. It a bit dry, so I'll put a bit more oil in there. I agree, this rice is as dry as my grandmother. I'll add a bit of sesame oil. Now we add soy sauce. Just use feeling. We put soy sauce in until our ancestors tell us it's enough. I'm 69% certain that my German ancestors have never even heard of soy sauce before. So I have to resort to my own cooking expertise to determine the right white amount. Nice tossing. And now the most important ingredient, MSG Puyo. And now the most important ingredient, MSG Puyo. And your final garnish, spring onion and chili. And the final garnish, spring onion and chilies. What a fucking mess. And now it's ready to be served. After 10 minutes of intense cooking and Asian people slender, it is ready to be served. Steaming hot and looking pretty damn appetizing. Can't wait to dig in. Now let's give it a taste and rate it 6 for 9. Woo! Yeah! yeah. Super minimalistic dish with a great crunchy texture and a typical Asian takeout taste which gets elevated even more due to the MSG. Nothing truly groundbreaking but still a pleasure to cook and eat. A solid 8 out of 9. 
Now that's about it. See ya.